Okay, I'm going to talk to you about um, a few things to kind of keep in mind and give you some tips while you're working on your design. When you're working on your design, you want to think about this as half of half of a image that a design that's going to be finished off when the mirror image is connected to it. So uh, it's okay to have your shapes uh, go off the edge on one side, but you only want to have the shapes going off the edge on one side. You don't want to have shapes going off the edge on both sides. And start out with, um, you know, really trying to bring those shapes up and filling in that space nicely. Draw light so that you can erase and, you know, change things as you go along. And you want to just kind of play around with different types of shapes. The other, the main thing when you're working on your shapes is that you really want to uh, create shapes that have some different curves and angles happening to them that are sort of stretched out and big. You want to give space to the things that are happening within that shape so that you are not ending up with um, a design that is just doing something like this because even though that's complex it's a very repetitive and actually kind of has too much detail going on in it. Um, you want to have something that's got, you know, more variation, more, more uh, open shape that's getting some flow. And as you work, you know, you can kind of just draw whatever, whatever kind of shapes. It's just doodling, you know, it's like when you, when you're on the phone talking to a friend and you've got a paper and you pick it up and you just start making you know, different designs on the paper. And you just kind of want to let it become whatever those shapes sort of decide that they want to have happen. And uh, another thing you want to remember, you want to have overlap. Another thing that you can do is you can have shapes that like cut through or pierce through another shape. So like right here, I'm making this kind of a ring and I'm going to have this uh, kind of claw shape sort of cutting through it. Um, so once I get the basic shapes drawn out, then what I'll do is come back and get rid of those lines that would be covered up by whatever is in front. So here, this ring is in front. The claw shape is kind of coming through it, piercing through it. And then here, it's covering up the back side of that ring shape. Okay, and then I'm going to have this. So as you work, as you have your overlap going on, you need to kind of think about what's going to be in front and what's going to be behind and erase lines so that it's, you know, making sense. So then I could even, I could turn this into another, you know, where this is another sort of ring shape and having it kind of piercing through this shape right here. And then I can just give a little opening right there where it's going to pierce through. So it's got kind of a, a linking connection right there. So I have two shapes and then I have to still get two more shapes in. So I kind of got this one a little big, I, but I think I can probably work it out. Another thing that you want to keep in mind as you are um, drawing your design, you want to think about making your design, the different elements of the design big enough, the shapes big enough so that you can paint them in with paintbrush. So you've been doing your color wheel and part of the reason I had you do the color wheel first is to give you experience with mixing the paint and also experience with handling the paintbrush and controlling the paintbrush. So that when you get to this part of the project, you've already got 
some experience with working with the paint and controlling the paintbrush and paying attention to having an appropriate amount of paint on your paintbrush and um, things like making sure that your paint dries before you start painting into a section next to it um, so that you don't end up with the colors bleeding, running together, and uh, paying attention to the angle that you're holding the paintbrush and you know getting the edges, aiming the paintbrush so that you are getting the edge of the paintbrush up along the shapes while you're painting. Okay, so this is a pretty good design. It's okay. Um, I have a design that I've already drew, so I'm going to use that for the, for the remainder of this demonstration, and I'll get that out right now.